Hi, welcome back to Wanna Papa. Today we're going to talk together about how to freeze baby food. It is very convenient to prepare a nice batch of baby food and then store it in a freezer for future use. It will save you a lot of time and your baby will be able to enjoy homemade, fresh, healthy baby food every single day without you cooking every single day. Let's start together. You have few options. I tested all of them and they are all baby safe. First, you can use an ice cube tray and I really like the one in silicone because silicone is very baby safe. They come in different sizes, in different colors and in different shapes. At the beginning, you can start with a small tray like this one from Green Sprouts that has a one ounce cubes and at four, six months stage, one ounce, it's a full meal. Then you can move up choosing a bigger size tray like this one from Lillipop Kids. They are two ounces and even bigger. And they are super easy to use because being in silicone, you you will easily pop up your baby food in no time. All the trays, they come with the lid and it's very important to use your lid to protect your baby food for different reasons. First of all, you do not want any food or other contamination from other food that is in your freezer. And then you do not want your baby food to be freeze burned. It means that basically the surface will dry out, will still be safe to eat that baby food, but you will just need to remove the top part and you do not want to waste baby food. The thing that I really like about the tray option is that if you have plenty of room in your freezer, you can keep the baby food in the pods or in the tray covered. But if you do not have a lot of room, you can simply fill the tray. Let it freeze for three, four hours, take it out, pop out all the baby food, all the small cubes, and then store them in a freezer safe plastic bag so that it will keep less space. So just remember to label your baby food with the date and the food that you prepared. Second option, glass containers. I really like glass because it's super baby friendly. Always double check on the packaging if that kind of glass is freeze safe. This solution from Green Sprouts has different sizes that they like and also always comes with the lint, very useful. Also, it comes with a very useful tray that will not let your small containers fall in the freezer. Third option, it's a nice one, pouches. You can fill reusable freezer safe pouches with your baby food easily and then you can close it and freeze them. When your baby is hungry, you can easily tow your pouch, open it, or they created these very useful spoons so that you can attach to your pouch and you can serve your baby food directly from the pouch. I use them, they are very, very functional. Very important thing, when you freeze your baby food, try to store it in the freezer in within one hour from when you cook it. You do not want your baby food to cool down at room temperature and stay on the counter for more than two hours because bad bacteria will grow in your baby food and it will be not safe for your baby to enjoy it. How long can I store cooked baby puree? In the freezer, the general recommendation is to store baby food for up to six months. Even if, I have to say, my personal recommendation is to use your frozen baby food in within three, four months for two reasons. The taste might change after longer than four months. It will still be safe, but it will have a different texture. The second reason is that in three, four months, your baby might change taste and might change the kind of texture that he likes. So very, very running poor at the beginning, my baby more chunky food at the end. So you do not want your baby to change taste and do not like the consistency of your baby food anymore. Whereas in the refrigerator, you can keep your baby food, if it's fruit or vegetables, up to two, three days. If it's meat or fish, up to one, two days. Can I freeze a baby puree that has been prepared using frozen ingredients? We all know the rule, never freeze twice. But what about a fresh or raw ingredient that has been frozen and never cooked before, then thawed, cooked, 
transformed in a baby puree and then frozen? In this case, it's a yes. The concept is that you never freeze an ingredient that has already been cooked and frozen. That's a no-no. But if the ingredient has been frozen from fresh, like fruit or vegetables, or raw, like meat and fish, then it can be towed, cooked, and freezed without any issue. Can I freeze baby food that contains breast milk or formula? Yes, you can, but just remember one thing, you cannot use frozen breast milk, cook it, and then freeze it again. So breast milk should be fresh one, it cannot be a frozen one. Another suggestion is to always label your baby food when you place it in the freezer, because trust me, you will never remember one week later or even a few days later which kind of food and when you place it in the freezer. I really hope these tips about how to freeze baby food will be helpful to you. And if you want to know more about the beautiful products that I've been using in my recipes and for my kids, please check the link below. See you next time with a new recipe from Bonapappa. Ciao!